focus. Hello you guys, what is up? It's Harrison. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different yet again. I say that every single time, but that's just because I uh, don't really have a clear direction I want to take this channel in, so help me. But I figured I would share one of my uh, stories with you. It's going to be like a story time thing where I just kind of go over like a embarrassing maybe or funny or stupid story about um, just something that I did that was really stupid or funny or embarrassing. I don't know if I'll end up making another one of these videos again. I'll see how it goes and if they end up being good then I will probably do more of these and if not then this is the only one. Also, this is basically my first sit-down video with this new camera, and I apologize if I keep looking over because it has the nice little flip-out screen so I can see myself, so that's very, very helpful because um, it's easier to get me myself set up in the shot, so I'm going to do my best to keep looking right at the camera and not at that screen. So yeah, if you see me looking off, it's um, that. Hi, Pepper. Hi. Can you go lie down and quit bugging me? Please. Go lie down. <laughs> this story time tale is my first day of kindergarten. So, I went to kindergarten at the ripe old age of five. It was September and it was at my elementary school. It wasn't like a separate kindergarten place, it was just at the same elementary school so it had kindergarten through fifth grade which, if you're outside of the United States, I don't know if they have the same thing or not, but in the United States, they have kindergarten through fifth grade, is elementary school. So, we got to the kindergarten thing, it was my dad dropping me off, and all of that was fine, um, or not really fine. He walked me to the door that, like, is by the kindergarten, and we're waiting there, and I mean, I've never been in a space with so many kids who are, like, my same age before, it was really strange. And, um... Yeah, I did okay, and then I was like, as the bell rang and the kids had to go and the teacher opened up that door, and all the kids started walking in, and I was that last kid in because I just couldn't stop. Like, I was like, wait, where am I going? Uh, aren't I supposed to have my parents with me? Like, you know, I had never ever had to leave my parents before and just go to this strange lady who was holding a door open for me. So I, like, I don't know, I guess I started crying quite a bit, um, a lot, quite a lot actually. It took me, it took them forever to finally get me to go inside that classroom and then once I got inside I kept staring out the window waving at my dad who was um, having to leave because it was like school starting and yeah, they, uh, I don't know, that must have been really painful for him, but that wasn't all. So like, I, f I don't know, I managed to somehow stop crying um, eventually that day. It was just a morning kindergarten class, so it went from like 8 a or no, not 8, 9 a.m. to like noon or something, I think. So I managed to stop crying for a little bit, and then I don't know what it was, but during like story time when the teacher was just reading us this story about who knows what, a frog or something probably, I just lost it right there in front of the whole class. Like, I just completely started bawling because I missed my father. And um, the teacher had to, like, basically pick me up because I'm a little five year old and, like, try to get me to stop crying because I was just completely had lost it. And I feel really bad for her. So, if you're watching this, my fifth grade teacher whose name I don't remember, no, not fifth grade, kindergarten. My kindergarten teacher whose name I unfortunately don't remember at the moment. I am very sorry for being such a pain in the butt that first day of school. I know that probably wasn't easy on you, and I also know I probably wasn't the only one who's ever done that, but still. That was quite a bit of fun. And, you know, that first day wasn't just it. It was like that, well, almost every day. I would come to class crying at least. I was able to finally accept the fact that I had to go to this place called kindergarten. This disgusting place called kindergarten. And I'd like, I'd go to class and everything, but I would not go without a fight. Like I would, pro I think I would cry the whole way to school for at least the first month or more. 
and then I would cry as I was getting into the classroom and then finally I, I mean I'd be okay enough to say the pledge and then somehow I'd survive until lunchtime. I'm just I'm not very proud of that. I was one of those kids who cried a lot. A lot more than I should have probably. But I'm sure that was quite an experience for my parents and um, well at least my dad and that teacher. Oh, and by the way, I don't actually remember a lot of this story. Like, I don't remember him dropping me off. He actually had to, he's like retold me this story a bunch of times. I don't know. But, like, I remember being in class and bawling my eyes out, but I don't specifically remember the whole, like, oh, you're a, like, the whole dropping me off and getting me in the classroom thing. He's told me that before. And I mean, who knows? Maybe he's stretching the truth just a little bit. You know, a little bit. But, I believe him for that because I was such a crybaby, whiny ass kid. Like, God, I don't even know how my parents dealt with me most of the time. Because I was... I was not fun. And I, if I had a kid, I would not want to have myself because I think that probably would have been terrible. Shh, quiet. Quit barking. I hope you guys enjoyed that story about kindergarten. Um, I will see about doing more videos like this because I'm sure as you know or as you can probably guess I have a lot more embarrassing and stupid stories that I have um, of things that I have done in my life that I'm not proud of so that basically concludes the video so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and sticking with me on this channel I will be releasing videos frequently Again, like just trying to keep going frequently and doing a bunch of different types of content to keep you interested, so um, there's something to look forward to. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!